morning guys welcome to today today is Saturday and there is no horse camp there is no work there is no clear pool but it's getting there if you guys saw the other day it was pitch green so I'm pretty sure by the end of today maybe it'll be a clear pool anyway we are headed out to do Saturday shopping Saturday yard sailing Saturday yard sailing Look at Gabby brings her iPad to go yard selling. Where's your phone? Why aren't we plugging that sucker in? It's in one of your purses. Yeah, for any of you guys that, that have been trying to connect with Gabby on Instagram, her phone has been dead for a week in my purse. Anyway, usually for any of you guys that are new, and there's so many of you guys that are new, on Saturdays we tend to, we try and do all of our shopping on Saturdays, especially in the winter when it is so cold there's nothing else to do. But because it's summer, we are gonna hit some yard sales. Are you excited? I found something that I really want. We just saw something at a yard sale we were driving by that she really wants, but we have to go to the bank and get money. I, uh That's the thing that Gabby really wanted. We were driving by and she saw it. She has one on her bed right now, but it's my old one and it's not the right color, you know. So she really wanted that. You want a Barbie camper? Or Brooklyn. Wow. Brooklyn has a Barbie camper. There's a Barbie Jeep for a dollar. Look, it's only a piece of the Barbie camper. No, that whole thing is the camper. Wow. You and, you and your cream and your perfume and your makeup. <laughs> That's what you love. Wow, you hit the the jackpot here, huh? That's Avon. Mommy, is this perfume? That's perfume. We go to yard sales. Sam is the master negotiator. I'm just like, I just pay whatever they want. And Sam negotiates everything, which is awesome. Because if I want something and it's super expensive, I'm like, I'm not paying that. Sam, you pay for me. And he always gets me a better deal. Anyway, Sophie, even though she's a lot like me, she is a master negotiator. She wanted this bag. Let me see. She bought a baby a live doll, and I agreed she could buy it because it was not a bad price. But then she wanted this bag of clothes, and it's five dollars, and it's just doll clothes. And she literally has so many doll clothes, and she wanted it so bad. I'm like, I'm not buying it. I'm not paying five dollars for something that you already have. It's not even like whatever. And so she walked around sulking a little. And she had her new baby. Let's see your new baby. Wait, I have doll clothes on. And. Uh, she came back to me and she said, hey, if, what if she lets me have it for a, a less price? Would you buy it for me? And I said, sure. So she went over to the lady and she said, hey, could I have this bag for, for could I have this bag of clothes for less money? And I was like, oh my gosh. And the lady said, oh, all right, fine, $3. And I was like, wow, you go girl. You did it, right? You're Here's learning from dad. She is learning from dad. This is the baby she got. I don't know if any of you guys like babies, but she is a baby alive, a collectible. She has a bunch of them and she loves them. And so she got this. This was $2 and this was $3. All right, you guys, we are home from yard sailing. We still have some other shopping to do, but I just wanted to show you so you guys all know that somebody in our family is a shopaholic. What'd you get today, Sophie? All of this and some babies. She well, one baby and baby clothes. So yeah, she got a baby and a bunch of clothes. She got even more clothes than we already showed you. She bought another whole bag of clothes. And she bought this all at one yard sale. This box. This huge box full of stuff. What's in there, my love? Um, all stuff that. All stuff that she might need. So she's got a heating pad. You plug it in and it heats up. She got some, I don't even know what you want to call this. This is to watch, this is to wash your private parts for a girl. So like, she bought this, yep, yeah. she got this because you never know when you're gonna need to wash it, right, Sophia? What else did you get? I got all these splashes and this. She got a bucket of stuff, like from the 60s. All this hair stuff, and what did she show I me? I don't know what this is. She showed me this thing, and she was like, wow, look at this. Do you guys even know what that is? It's a pick. It's a pick for if you have like an afro or a perm, if your hair is curly. Instead of brushing it, you pick it. So it doesn't make it fluffy. So she got all that stuff. 
She also got a hot water bottle, which I kind of think is cool because I we used to have one. I don't know where it is now, but that's good for winter in Canada. Let me show them. I got this. I don't know. She got an empty box, just an empty decorative box. You never know. And just she wait. Got these, but we'll she got oil of Olay moisturizing cream because it looks like it's about 60 years old, but you never know when you're going to need to moisturize. I have this. She got this with a frog in it. We got some loofahs. Yeah, she got a hair curler that's probably about 80 years old and she just got that's one. It's full of hair. It's full of somebody else's hair. I got perfume. Perfume. More perfume. More perfume. Whatever this stuff is. That is, please gosh. Temporary wrinkle remover. Sylvia, you're never gonna have to worry about wrinkles. You could just wipe that stuff on there and it will remove your wrinkles. That's and a little I have range. This stuff, stuff. Some mousse, hair mousse. A sole for a shoe, because you know you might need that. <laughs> a decoration. Some weird, funky decoration. <laughs> what else did you get? I don't know. Oh, some more Perry wash. This is also to wash I your got these. girly stuff. She got some shampoo and some conditioner age defying because and you I'm know when you're you. when you're seven, you do not want to look your age, right? So that will help there. Somebody in our video said invest in some Epsom salts because when you fall, it makes your bones it makes you feel your bones and not in a good way. I wish I knew who said that because look, we found some Epsom salts in this box that Sophie bought at yard sale. They are good for little Miss Faller. When you fall, it makes your bones rattle. It's like you're, you get hurt from falling. So you soak in that Epsom salt and it soothes away the pain. And usually it smells it nice. Hurt when I fall. And it usually makes you absorb magnesium. So that's really good. It's healthy for you too. Last but not least, she also got this package of used, and I mean very used, bobby pins that are going straight in the garbage. In fact, a lot of this stuff is going straight in the garbage. But there is oh, a couple. This can go straight in the garbage. That can go straight in the garbage, like. Yeah, you can see it's already broken. But yeah, that's what happens when you give your seven-year-old money to go at a yard sale and buy what she wants. She bought the whole box. In fact, all the people at the yard sale, they were all old ladies, they were laughing. Weren't they laughing? Yeah, I had to give them money to them in my mouth because my hands. Yeah, she, she had her hands full of so much stuff that she had to carry her money in her mouth. We're going to hit 7,000 subscribers today. We're going to hit 7,000 subscribers today, Sophia. Can you believe that? I can't even believe it. I'm just blown away by that. 7,000 subscribers. I never even thought we would ever get 7,000 subscribers. I'm just amazed. Those are adorable. We have to get my book out. Yeah, we are coming to get books. So nice. Oh, oh wow, let's see that. That's a nice thing for your room. Yeah, but the dream would go better. Dream? Boom. And horseshoe and dream love and smile. And a horseshoe. And, oh, wait, is this a spur? No, it's a... Wishbone, so lucky wishbone. Anyway, you guys, we are at our local bookstore because we are back to school shopping. And for a lot of you guys, back to school shopping means just buying clothes and stuff like that. But for us, we have to buy books. No thanks. We're buying Schleich. Yeah, every time we come to this store, they have Schleich here. They always try and suck us into buying Schleich. I feel like. Mommy. I'm going to. I feel like one day they'll have all the Schleich that they have here, so we won't be able to buy any. I bet you we have all the Schleich. Because Sophie and I are saving up for something that's Schleich. What is this? This is a. Oh. This is the rabbit hutch? Yeah, I have that rabbit at home. I have two at that home. That is a cute But hutch. one's missing. So that is super cute. So how much? Sophie and um, I have okay, so $13 and something cents. You have, you have to look at the tape. Oh, $25. $24.95. So you're almost there. All right, tell me the truth. Do you have all the horses that they have here? Like, are, are there any horses here that you don't have? We have that one. No, we don't. We yeah. have a different one. Oh, that one is pretty. And we have that one. That's so cute. So is that the only horse we don't have here? They don't have much. Um, yeah. We don't have Oh my gosh, she's making a pile. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Look at this cool pencil case. That is cool. Would you even ever get any work done or would you just play with your pencil case? It you guys have a shirt like that, but they even have a backpack like that. Well, so you know, cool. So well. Yeah. Sophie and I are looking for books. She reads this Sasha series and 
we don't have, I have she's the pony club series. yeah and gabby reads the pony club so a lot of you guys are suggesting pony club she actually reads pony club but she reads pony club secrets right yeah. pony club secrets yeah. and she yeah. reads yeah. that they're all by stacy gregg and she also reads the standalones where she has she's in the middle of she has she has a bunch at home anyway right the island of the lost horses is the best standalone yeah she literally wants me to read that book, Island of the Lost Horses by Stacey Gregg, because she says it's just that good, right? You all know that we are looking to buy a farm, and the market is really crazy right now, and there's nothing close to us in our price range, but we are not giving up. We are still looking. We are hoping to get one in the fall for sure. Anyway, today we are looking at barns, and the reason is because if we get a smaller farm that doesn't have a barn on it, we have to buy one, and we found a place that makes barns. It's super cool. I'm actually in a stall right now. Gabby, let me out. This is what it feels like to be a horse, but this is a big size stall. Sophie. I found a wild horse. You are a wild horse. Yeah, this is nice. Do you like it? I can stick my head right out because I'm a horse. I'm gonna lock it before you unlock it. I like this because it's got doors to go outside from the stall and it's got stall doors to go into the barn. So this barn has three stalls and a tack room. This is a good sized tack room. Oh, there's Sam looking at a stall. All right, so this is a huge barn. It has three stalls and one tack room. So it's kind of good for us. It's only $30,000 and they build it to what you want. So we probably want four stalls, but it's really cute. And the middle part's not built on this on this one. They build it when you buy it. That is adorable. Stand still so it'll go in. Don't told move, you, I heard, you guys. Told you I heard kittens. Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's let it go in. Literally the cutest kitten. girls are watching last year okay did you guys catch that what happened there and that last clip is that remember that cat that we saw that was a young cat it turns out that it was a mama cat and she had a litter of tiny little five week old kittens but they actually look like four four week old kittens to me but anyway they were living under our neighbor's step Anyway, they get trapped all the kittens and they're taking them to a rescue. But yeah, it was so fun. She didn't trap one yet. Yeah, they're just waiting to trap the last one. So too bad it wasn't us that got to do it, but we've done it the last two years. So it's fun for them to have a chance to do it, right? Mm -hmm. I just missed it. We just hit 7,000. 7,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? 7,005? Wow. wow. Amazing. Literally, we were driving home, and I'm like, we have three more to go. And then we got home, and we went to see the neighbor, and we missed it. But yeah, 10,000 subscribers, guys. Insane. Thank you so much for the 7,000 subscribers. While we were out, Gabby found a... Schleich. A Schleich she Gelding. didn't have. A Geldy. What kind is he? I do not know. Does it say no? Uh, also, I she, picked up... Like at the Schleich. Yeah. Also, I picked up a Saddle Club book for Sophie on your guys' recommendation. And I was able to find these three Canter Crest books. Canter Wood Crest books. I got three of them. This is the first one, so I'll be collecting a few more. I have all of these, I think, in digital copy, but Gabby won't read those. That's super exciting. But anyway, I was thinking about this idea. What do you guys think? I want to know your opinion. What about if we had a shout out Sunday? And the reason I'm thinking about it is because so many of you guys share our life, your lives with us, just like we're sharing our life with you. You send us messages, you send us pictures, you tell us huge stories, which is amazing. Can you let the dogs out? In, let the dogs in. Sophie, Sophie. Your job. Gabby lets the dogs out, Sophie lets the dogs in. Anyway, some of you guys make me laugh, you make me cry, you make me feel amazing. I love it, learning about you guys. So I thought if we have a shout out every single Sunday, I'll follow one subscriber and tell a little story about them and show pictures or whatever it is that you 
um, send to me. So thumbs up this video if you think it's a good idea. Also, um, just let me know in the comments below so I know if you want to be involved in that. So today, for our first unofficial shout out Sunday, I am going to show you this girl. Her name is Ivy.Fiet572. And as she sent me this little video, and literally I laughed so hard watching this. <laughs> she could not stop watching it. Her very first jump. Wait, is it on her Instagram? It's on Instagram. She lives oh. in Western Canada in an amazing area. She has a view of the mountains. She has such a cute horse. She has a cat. And the thing I loved about this video is that she didn't even care that she wasn't perfect. And you guys know so much of YouTube is about showing all the perfect things that you do. And if you guys know from watching us, we are far from perfect. And I love that she shared that video with me. It was her very first time jumping. That was her oh. first time jumping. This is what she's jumping now. Isn't that amazing? Yes. She looked so tiny back then, but she's so good now. And that's the whole thing. Everybody improved. Anyway, that is our very first shout out Sunday and I'm excited to get to know more of you guys. If you want to follow us on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, please do. And I think we're going to end today's video. Like oxers, like Look more her than go two now. feet. I think that's three V oxers. Wow. Amazing. No, that one's probably two and a half. Her horse is pretty. Anyway, that is it for today, you guys. Now, Gabby's addicted to my Instagram. She's watching it, watching it, watching it. End today's video, Missy. Bye. Bye, guys. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.